Welcome to our video on how to make a gauge chart or speedometer chart in Excel. So a speedometer chart or a gauge chart is a fancy way to present completion rates. So for example here, we have a, an 84% completion of a certain task or a project. And you can click on the buttons here and you will see how the completion rate is being reflected in a speedometer like kind of chart. Now just to give you an overview on how to make this chart, this is actually a combination of a pie chart and a donut chart. So let's begin the process of making this one. So to start, you have to first prepare your table that will contain your numbers. Of course, when you have charts, there has to be numbers. So the first part that you will prepare is the part of the donut chart. Now, the donut chart has to be a total of 200. Now, if you notice, what am I doing here is I have 25, 50, and 25. Just to let you know, that actually represents the red, the yellow, and the green. So this is going to be the 25, this is going to be the 50, and this is going to be the 25. Now, we have to add a 100, which is the total of all of these numbers. That is why, if you notice, there's this, uh, it's technically a half of a donut because this is 25, 50, 25, and then somewhere there, 100 is present. So you have to control or you can control how you're going to control the red part, the yellow part, and the green part. Just make sure that whatever your total is, you will have it as, uh, here. Now, the next part is the portion of the pie chart. Now, for the pie chart, you also have to get a total of 200. Now, here in the middle part, you have to indicate a small number like maybe 2 or 1 or 3. Just to let you know, this number here corresponds to that black line that acts as if it's the hand of the speedometer. So it's 2, therefore it's a little thin. Now, the next part is we have to make sure that our speedometer or our pie chart doesn't exceed 200 because if you notice, the donut chart also is 200 points or 200 data. So we will say here 200 minus the number here and then minus whatever the number we will place here later on. So that is why for now, you will get 198. Now, for the sake of example, we can just, for now, put here 50. So, because of the formula here, 200 minus the constant 2, and then minus the number that we will put here, your total here, or your difference, will always be 200. Okay, so if I change the pie chart into, let's say, 74, the total of the numbers here will always be 200, which matches what I have here. Now, we're ready to plot our chart. So we highlight that table, and then we have to insert a pie chart. Now, it doesn't look like our gauge chart yet, so we still have to do some things here. Now, as you could see here, what I'm seeing is the part of the donut. The part of the pie is actually behind it. When you have a donut chart and you have two columns of data, the first part will always stay at the front, and then the second column will stay at the uh, back or behind this donut chart. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the donut chart going to the left or counterclockwise and we have to change it as well to a pie chart so first let's change this into a pie chart so right click on your donut and then you have to change series chart type and then once you have your change series chart type you will see here that you are given the option to change the series into whatever chart type you want 
And all you have to do is match the series name to the kind of chart that you want. So the donut chart should be converted into a donut chart. The pie chart, well, it's going to be a pie, so you don't have to do anything there. If you notice in the preview, something happened because we converted the donut series into a donut chart, we created a hole. And now we can see that there's actually something behind it, which is our pie chart. Click OK. Now we have to rotate the donut chart. So let's click the part of the donut. And then you have to format it. By the way, before I proceed, make sure that you do not, you do not click the one in the middle because if you click the one in the middle, you'll be selecting the pie chart portion which is behind the donut. It's the donut that is in front. The pie is in the is in it's behind it. So let's click on the donut series or data point. Right click format data series and we have to rotate the angle of the first slice counterclockwise so that means we have to make sure that this part here actually goes towards the left and that's a 270 degrees turn so we'll change the angle of the first slice into 270 degrees okay that's uh fundamental geometry right a circle is 360 degrees so 270 rotate it to the left to the left side counterclockwise and did you see that it started at zero here it's like that but when you change it to 270 it rotated to the left now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to convert the colors for this one so this, so you, all you have to do is click it once and then another one in order to isolate that data point. Right click, change the fill color to red. This one, isolate it as well, click it twice. Make it yellow. And this one here, isolate it, double click it twice and then or sorry double click it and then turn it to green and then the lower part here the lower part of the donut is uh, it's a bright yellow color you just have to isolate it as well double click it and change it to no fill okay now we're done with the part of the gauge Okay, or the, the red, yellow, green part. Now the next thing is we have to convert or put the pie chart in front. So to do that, we just have to click in the middle. Okay, so you will hit the data point of the pie. And then right click, format data series. And all you have to do is bring it to a secondary axis okay and similar to what we did with the donut chart we have to change the angle of the first slice into 270 that should align the donut and the pie chart now remember that when you create or when you convert the pie chart into or when you plot it to a secondary axis it becomes uh, a separate plotting so meaning it will be now in front of the donut chart the donut chart is technically behind now the pie chart so we swap their positions now all we have to do is change the color of the pie of the data points of the pie chart so isolate this one the blue one no fill as well there you go the donut chart behind is revealed because we converted the pie into no fill we have to do the same for the gray part of the pie chart we'll make it no fill as well and almost there the orange line will make it black so that it's easily visible and our gauge chart is almost there it's actually there 
let's just delete the legend maybe change the size of the plot area so that it becomes larger now the thing is you cannot really do something about the, this unwanted space here because it's part of the pie chart right or that even the donut chart so all you, all you can do is simply resize it and if you want to do something about how it looks then maybe you can change this one the chart area and make it no outline as well so that it doesn't create a border and then maybe with your worksheet you can change the grid line into no grid lines so that it's it's as if it's floating in your workbook now just to show you that if i change this 74 for example into let's say 32 then your chart moves 90 100 and it's technically complete if we put here one for example then it moves to the left side now in our it's almost there so actually done but if you want to do what i did here wherein i have a control that allows the changing of the of the gauge chart now here's what you're going to do you will have to insert a control the spin button so spin button draw it and then spin buttons like this you can actually right click and then you can format that control and it will allow you to change the minimum value and the maximum value and remember we should not exceed 200 right so of course the minimum value is 1 and the maximum value should not exceed 200 so we can put here up to maybe 198 and then incremental change of one and then cell link should be connected to this because we're going to target this one if you remember previously we are manually changing this cell and it affects the gauge chart so now it's going to be the control the spin button that will change the value in cell b2 okay and because of what we did the spin button will increase the value of cell b2 which in effect will change the position or the presentation in our gauge chart okay so almost there we're done if you want you can show a certain maybe completion percentage for the completion percentage, we can create a formula here. Let's increase it. So we have to find out how uh, the percentage okay, or how much is the completion. So all we have to do is get this, multiply it by 2 because we should not exceed 100, right? So, or we should not uh, go beyond the the plot of our donut chart or our pie chart so we have to multiply that by 2 and divide it by 200 minus this one okay enter so format it as percentage so remember our pie chart should not exceed okay this plot here so just to show you if we click it so many times you will actually get this one okay so it's technically 100% at this point that's why we have to do some calculation there and we can just put here 100% complete for example so that it's it looks as if it's a complete sentence okay oops you cannot do that and then finally to do something about this so they don't you don't see it just change the font into white because you cannot hide it if you hide them your chart will be invisible as well and you don't want that 
So you want to keep them visible but at least change the font color. And now we have our gauge chart. 